Hey everybody and welcome to day 6 of 31 Days of Indie Horror. I'm your host Jonathan Moody and today we're going to talk to you about a film that you can pick up at the Dollar Tree. Yes, the Dollar Tree. We're going to be talking about Lake Fear 3. <laughs> So, <clears throat> Lake Fear 3, which you can buy at the Dollar Tree, but I watched it on Amazon uh, to give those guys uh, some love and some help. Uh, every, you know, view counts, I guess. So, um, and so I would suggest that for you if you can't find it at the Dollar Tree. Buy it at the Dollar Tree as well. I mean, you know, I'm sure that helps too. Um, but anyway, uh, this was a film made by the Crumb Brothers. Um... Now, they did Lake Fear, they did the Anna movies, Anna 1 and 2, they did Lake Fear 3, but they did not do Lake Fear 2, which was not actually even, like, the same, like, canon. You know, it, uh, Lake Fear 2 was actually another movie, and then they changed, the distributor changed the title of that movie to be Lake Fear 2, because I guess they were, I guess Lake Fear did so well that they wanted to do a Lake Fear um, 2, so... Uh, put that out. So the Crumb Brothers, I think, were like, well, let's freaking just make another uh, Lake Fear movie uh, for the audience who enjoyed the first one. Uh, so they made the third one. And honestly, I mean, the first movie felt very much in the vein of Evil Dead. And this feels in the much in the vein of like Army of Darkness, but not so much. There's not like a lot of slapstick humor or anything. There's a lot of humor in it. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, uh, but there's, it doesn't have, like, all the slapstick humor that you get from, you know, a lot of those movies. Um, all in all, it was a pretty solid B-movie. You know, this movie is something that if you're in, kind of, you like Evil Dead, you like demon possession movies, um, and sort of funny uh, Joshua Winch comes back uh, from the first movie. Comes back. He's a he's kind of like Ash, very much like Ash from Evil Dead. He's saying, you know, kind of cheesy one-liners, you know, and stuff. And he's trying to trying to save uh, save everybody. So um, the whole idea is they have to get back to the original cabin, which I, I <laughs> um, I'm speculating here, but I'm I'm guessing they could only rent out the cabin for a day because they really did not. Or two, because they really didn't have much time in the cabin. They spent more time other places they had. But I also thought that was pretty cool. Because they got to go other places. They went to like, um... What else did they go to? They went to uh, a cemetery. They were outside a restaurant. Uh, they were at a convention hall. So, like, the idea of the movie is... the uh, uh, One of the original girls, uh, her sister... Her, I, I'm not sure if it's a twin sister. I mean, obviously, it's played by the same girl. So it could very well be the idea of a twin sister. But it could very well also just be a regular sister. And they're just saying, you know, they look... I guess they look alike. Um, she is looking for her sister that's been missing for like two years. Since I think that's the last time before they released that last movie. So <clears throat> they're looking. she's looking for her sister. She goes out and uh, with her friend, played by Caitlin uh, Newberry. Um... Caitlin uh, is, I think Caitlin is new to the Crumb Brothers movies, so uh, I liked I liked her in it a lot. She kind of was this like sarcastic, um, snarky uh, girl who kind of didn't. I mean, I didn't know like whether or not there was this potential. Like they said something about girlfriends, and I was like, eh, she kind of gives off a little lesbian vibe, but I don't think she was one. Um, uh, her character was pretty awesome uh joshua winch's character was awesome and then they had this guy um i'm gonna butcher his name it was uh uh let's see devai krajish i don't know i can't say his name sorry if i really butchered your name i'm sorry like i'm really bad at that like especially when i can't can't tell if i can pronounce the name or not but that guy was awesome he played a you know, quote unquote ghost hunter, you know, from those like paranormal shows that he's like a medium, but, uh, 
you know, he's, he's pretty pathetic as a medium. Uh, uh, there, there's one time, the funniest bit is just, uh, it's, there's going to be a couple of spoilers, but there's one really funny bit where they were uh, discussing his, um, you know, she, she was trying to figure out if, you know, where her sister is, so she was using the medium to locate her sister, and he was like, oh, you don't have to worry about it, she's dead, you know, or something like that, like, and uh, the snarky one's just like, you couldn't, you could have told us this, like, earlier, you know? Uh, and save them 50 bucks? Yeah, of course. Well, he wanted his 50 bucks. Makes total sense. Um, but she, I guess she was, she was dead. Uh, but like, I don't think he knew that. He was just guessing so that, I don't know, they, you know, he didn't have to actually do any medium work because he doesn't know how to do that. That would be my guess. Anyway, uh, all in all, I, I just, I really enjoyed the movie. Um, Actually, I think it was better than the first one. I do like the first one. I have it. Uh, if you notice, it's right there at the bottom. Um, I really like Lake Fear, uh, number one. But this one, I felt like like each movie I see of theirs, like I loved Anna a lot, um, which is so funny because I, I feel like doll movies are very like a dime a dozen these days. And they, did, they brought something fun to it. Uh, that's what I thought with this, like evil dead's been done to death in different ways, but they bring something new and exciting to it. I mean, the, the gore was fantastic. I mean, that was probably the best part of the movie was the special effects and the gore. It was just uh, like, ugh. some, some things you just, ugh, it was gross. Um, but all in all, I really enjoyed it. I think if you are in the mood for something kind of creepy, kind of that, I mean, it wasn't scary, you know, it's not something I'm going to be like, oh my god, it's going to keep me up at night, um, but really, there's hardly any movies these days, even, um, you know, big time movies that do that for me, so, this movie didn't really do that for me, but it was fun, and it was entertaining, um, it, it was only an hour and 19 minutes, so the, the time just went kind of, you know, and then finally, I just enjoyed it. So if you're just ready for something fun and exciting and new uh, and you want something for like the hol Halloween season, um, I would definitely check out Lake Fear 3. Now, Lake Fear 1 is not on Amazon. I am not sure if it's on Tubi or I know you can pick up the Lake Fear movies, all three of them, including the second one, which I don't have yet. I might just get just because I'm a little bit of a completist and I, since I have the third and the first, I kind of want the second one. Um, I hear those are at the Dollar Tree. So if I see them at the Dollar Tree again, I'm going to pick up the second one. Um, but I would suggest picking them up at the Dollar Tree. I mean, for a dollar, that, that's a steal. You know, good, you know, a movie. Even if you don't like it, you only spend a dollar. Um, so honestly, check those out. Uh, and uh, let us know what you guys think. Did you like Leak Fear 3? Did you like Leak Fear 1? Uh, which one did you like better? Um, I honestly, like I said, I think I like Lake Fear 3. And one last spoiler here. There you are most likely going to make a Lake Fear 4 and tie it in with the Anna movies. Uh, because the Anna character, the characters from Anna 1 and 2, I believe are going to be back in, uh, or like they show up at the end and they're talking about finding that Vincent guy who's played by De Devi. Um, and so... Who knows? I'm hoping that there is a Lake Fear 4 coming sometime, um, so we'll see. Uh, but until then, uh, check out all those movies. Anna 2 and Lake Fear 3 are on Amazon. You can check them out. Uh, I would recommend uh, definitely checking out the Anna movies too. I mean, they're just silly and fun and goofy. I mean, all of these films are just fun. They're not... I mean, you know, they have little bits of like scare tactic moments, but aside from that, they're just in, they're just enjoyful, you know, enjoyable. So, all right. Anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go. Um, I will be back tomorrow with another one. Uh, so get ready uh, for day seven coming up, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.